This is Adam Gorney on the Rival Signing Day show here with new Arizona State coach Kenny Dillingham. And Kenny, I'm feeling old. I, I've been in this a long time. And, uh, you know, I think you were coaching high school ball in Arizona when I started. And it's just exciting to see where you're at. Just what has been the last couple months been like from, from being the OC at, at Oregon to getting this opportunity to come back home, which you've talked about at length? Uh, busy would be the best way to describe it. Uh, we've just been, you know, flying around, you know, trying to trying to sign guys, trying to win football games before and then get hired and instantly, you know, go to a process where you got to get to know your new team, get to know the culture of the new team and get to figure out the direction that we need to go as a program and then go recruit and find the guys that can help you get that accomplished. Let's talk about building the staff. Who did you kind of learn that from? Are you learning on the fly a little bit? Because a lot of big name guys have, have been added and especially a lot of guys with recruiting connections there, which we'll talk to about how important it is to recruit the state. Yeah. I mean, for me, it was about people I trust. Number one, I think anytime you, you take a job, you want people you can trust around you. Uh, and usually the people you can trust are good people, good human beings. You know, I want uh, a parent, an uncle, a coach to be able to drop their uh, son or daughter off here and be able to say, man, that guy's going to take care of my son. If he's going through something in his life, he's going to be able to be taken care of. Uh, the football coaching parts, that's the easy part. There's a lot of great football coaches out here. Uh, there's no there's no gurus. There's nothing like that. It's just people who can get more out of players. And that goes into relationship building. Recruiting the state of Arizona, and we can go at length about this and how challenging it's been for, for both Arizona and Arizona State over the years. How important is, is it to you, one, being a, a kid from there, coaching high school football there, and now having the opportunity to say, hey, you guys don't need to leave. We, we have some, we're building something special really here. Yeah, I think it's critical. I mean, you look at all the guys that have left from here in the past, and uh, we want to be able to keep those kids here. Uh, we want to be able to have a roster that's heavily influenced by the state, by this state. And I think the coaching staff that I've hired – uh, is going to be able to help to get that accomplished in this state. Just, I mean, I think we have seven, four, three. We have what, fifteen high school state championship head coaches. That's how many high school state championships we have on our on our coaching staff. That's not including all the up the assistants. So, I mean, we have a heavy, heavily uh, rooted staff in this state, and uh, that's really what uh, one of the priorities are. But we are also a brand that can go nationally. We're the second largest city and the second largest school in the country. We are still going to have a national reach because this is a program that can attack, attract national players. How do you kind of envision that, your philosophy on recruiting? Is it start, start local and spread out? Is it hit the West really hard? Is it kind of that national reach? Which Arizona State has had some sex, success in recent years doing that um, and, and getting out uh, to other places. Yeah, obviously we want to keep the kids home is, is priority. But the second priority is to find the best player that fits us. Uh, and usually at, and within a major city, I mean, we've got uh, Sky Harbor Airport, which people can fly in from all over, and it's six minutes away from our facility. So for us, it's where can we go that's within an hour of an airport to get you to Sky Harbor? Because if really, if you if you live within an hour of any metropolitan airport in the country, you're probably less than three and a half, four hours away from Tempe, Arizona. You may seem so far away, but how close we are to the airport, right? Then there's flights 24-7. One of our philosophies is going to be recruiting these national kids that can hop on a flight and be here in two hours, three hours. Long one is three and a half hours, and they're basically on campus. Yeah, and a lot of them are coming from the snow to 80 degrees and uh, a lot to offer in Tempe. It's going to be an interesting, it's going to be interesting to see. Now, the portal, uh, it's going to obviously be used by everybody. You see, you know, more than a thousand kids in it now. Um, there, there's a lot to pick from. How do you envision utilizing that um, to, to rebuild a roster, to get the people that you want in there quickly without necessarily having to develop everybody from the high school ranks? Yeah, I think there's two sides of the portal. I think there's the side of, you know, the JUCO way the portal thinks, which is taking a upperclassman that can make an immediate impact, right, who's on your on your roster for one to two years. But like you said, there's over a 1,000 kids in the portal. There's the other side. That's the kids that maybe have three years left or four years left. 
And you almost got to treat those kids like freshman signees because if you sign an NFL player, he's only going to play three years in your program anyways. So to get a kid who has three or four years left over here, it's almost like signing a high school kid. You just got a college eval on him. So I think there's a balance in how you use the portal is you can't take all these one and done kids up here because one, it'll hurt your culture of your team. Two, it'll make your team top heavy and you're going to have to do that year in after year. Whereas if you take a combination of those kids with a big chunk of kids with three to four years left, those kids are actually going to be there for three years and grow the program just like a high school freshman. That's great. Uh, new Arizona State Kenny Dillingham here with Adam Gorney on the Rival Signing Day Show.